video of the hard work in the video for the second little experience. <sighs> Again, getting off the bus, look at this clown across the street here. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Stick my finger in his ears. I always tell when they do that. To do that thing. And what have you been seeing today, right? Uh, again, they'll use um, teenagers. They'll find them. They'll show up. They'll start. They'll start showing up. You know. You can always tell the the patterns. I can always tell the patterns. All right? It may not be. Um, they may not use them like this on a regular, but they do use them. And I can tell because um, you know how many times. You, uh, almost every day, I'm back and forth, and you know, you start this. I start to see how a whole bunch of teenagers like that. Yeah, so they, they're trying to use, they use them in ear targeting, again, to send these uh, subliminal threats, you know. And whenever they can't use adults, they use teenagers because they figure, well, you know, um, they're young, so, you know, we can indoctrinate them and, you know, if, if anything happens, you know, they, they're not going to get a lot of time in prison or what have you, or they just might get probation or what have you. You know they're very crafty when they do this stuff they they understand the system because they are it is the system and you know it's the white supremacy system but what these parents don't understand by allowing their children or indoctrinating their children into this sort of behavior into this sort of mindset is that you are corrupting their minds and uh, you are basically aiding in their own destruction and you're conditioning them to aid in their own destruction right because again, we don't like to t teach our children the truth. So, and like I said, another reason why they attack so heavily too is partic in particular when I start to um, speak to my kids about certain things. Like whenever I send them, like my my both my sons, I, I'll send uh, videos for them to watch, articles for them to read. You know, it has to deal with reality, right? Not not this kumbaya shit. Not this, you know. Say not not this oh uh, uh, that's it let me let me ignore the reality that's in front of me no you know I understand see the reality understand the truth right? that's the only way you're going to uh, save yourself from this from these traps and these pitfalls is if you understand the truth right it was fun we were in the elevator going up as we on our way back and Alyssa and we saw Pam. And we got in the elevator, and I was in the elevator, and I was like knocking my cane on the elevator uh, floor. She says, "Geez, you trying to wake the dead?" So I said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm Jesus." But you know, I'm gonna bring all the dead back to life. <laughs> my daughter was like, "What?" I thought it was like, "Uh, uh." My daughter was like, she looked at me. She, was, I said, "You don't believe that shit, right?" She was like, "Nope." I was like, "Good, good," because <laughs> they actually are adults who believe in that nonsense. You know, without understanding the esoteric meaning of that, when you talk about brain back to dead, you're in the mind. Your religion kills your mind. You're mentally dead. You're spiritually dead. That's what religion does. Religion doesn't doesn't make you spiritually alive. Okay, it doesn't. You know, you don't gain knowledge from religion. Not enough, at least from the way they teach it. And if they teach it the esoteric way, then yeah, because you not only are you understanding the metaphors and the, the, the parables but you understand science in the process right? you understand astrology astronomy in the process so if they, if, you teach, if they teach the bible the way it's supposed to be taught esoterically um, yeah then you can say um, you know raising raising that raising the mind right Raising the mental, the mentally dead, by right? the spiritually dead. Like we like to, we like to associate uh, the word spirit and and talk about spiritual as some sort of supernatural thing, but it is not. It is the study of the science. It is the understanding, you know, as a, a, a um, you know, there's a saying, and it's. 
you know, spirituality is unseen science and science is seen spirituality. Right? When you truly understand that, then you can say that you're a spiritual person because not only that, but you are practicing. Okay? Gaining knowledge, having wisdom, understanding the things that matters. Right? Understanding nature, human nature, the world, cosmos. Uh-oh. I haven't seen a nod in service is the second one too. I haven't seen a nod in service bus on this side. Actually, maybe I have, but uh, there's always, uh, I guess I've been getting this bus as soon as I <laughs> get off the other bus, but, you know. Okay, shit happens. Sometimes you forget. You gotta expect it. Yeah? One thing I says, T.I., you can't be hard on yourself when you forget shit. No matter how many times they may use the sirens and you forget something, you try to make it, you know, like they're going to, like you're going to remember, so no, you're not. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're, you know, if, you're, if your body hurts because of your target, you got a headache, they do sirens. Like, it, it, is, it doesn't stop the headache. It stop my body from hurting. You know, and they know that. What it is, is that they don't want to be held accountable for the damage that they've done to you. Right? So, when they, um, I gotta sanitize this bench for a sedan on it. Oh yeah. I do walk in my disinfectant spray. <laughs> right? I, I certainly do. Anyhow. Um, Alright, okay. right, so yeah. So until you understand the true definition of spirituality, the true meaning of spirituality, you know, I laugh at it, and I particularly when, when you know, Negropians, the black Christians, you know, and, and, and those that are so-called non-religious, but then they'll talk about, about oh, you know, I'm more spiritual than, than religious. And if you're more spiritual than religious, are you studying the sciences? Are you applying that to your life? Are you understanding human nature, right? You know, are you, are you, do you, do you understand the world around you? Yeah. Uh, do you understand the world around you? Do you understand the mindset in which we as black people are conditioned into? Or do you understand, if you're a TI, do you understand the con what has been done to you? Right? On a scientific level. Right? On a real, on a, on a reality stage, a reality level, I should say. Not not because you think some, you know, people are, they're, they're demons and all this stuff, right? But understanding that there are people who are evil and they will do certain things. And there are people who will engage in certain things against you as a human being because they feel they have a just cause or they're righteous. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, they may not have a just, what they will call a just cause, right? They, they'll tell you about, you know, they, they're righteous. And again, it's a word that I don't use, righteousness, because, you know, people commit genocide based on their righteousness. People enslave other people based on their righteousness, right? People will engage in destructive behavior against other people based on their righteousness and on their religious belief, okay? So that's a word that I don't use. It's something that we gotta understand. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to conserve some of my storage space. Um, I don't know how long I gotta wait for the bus. I gotta check the bus schedule. Anyhow, talk to you guys in the next video.